Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this one we have Alliance War again, and this is war number three for the season. So we've got the attacker team here that I'm going to be taking into this war. And lucky for me, TJ did the very first fight quite quickly. So I'm able to go into this thing here. So this thing is on the masochism and vigorous assault node. So whenever I give him a debuff, he gets a regen. Whenever he gets a regen, he goes unblockable. So you're going to see here me boosting up for these fights. I'm going to pop a six hour boost, um, especially for the overall champion one, because I have quite a few fights today. Uh, and some of them are mini bosses that I won't be able to get to until a little bit later. So I'm going to advance power start here and we're going to get into this one. So when I parry, I will obviously give him a stun, which will turn into a regen, which turns him unblockable, as you can see here. But then it gives me the chance to throw my special wands like this and place the debuff and it will stick. So I don't need to worry about that again for the rest of this fight. Luckily for me, the one of the first ones was the um, Petrify, so that's perfect. I take a few hits here, um, obviously forgetting the unblockable because I'm an idiot. So now I'm going to parry again, <coughs> just so I can throw off this debuff onto thing and we can go from here. Um, sadly for me, and obviously yourselves now, um, my recording actually fails like about a minute or so into this thing fight, and I don't realize. Yep, that's right. I am an idiot, and I didn't realize. So, you'll see in a second, it is just going to kind of keep playing this fight a little bit further. We're in a really good spot now for taking this thing down. And yeah, we, we're kind of cooking on gas. But at this point, I get a phone call at some point soon um, because I'm waiting for a colleague to come and fetch me and transport me down for the relocation that I've been talking about. Um, yep, so this screenshot here, I did die against Path 4 Null with Dr. Doom. Um, the power stings kind of hurt. The colleague that I was waiting for the phone call from kept ringing me. I couldn't see my screen. No excuses, just pretty poor play. Um, and yeah, I died. It was a, it's a fight that I always said if I died too, I'd retire. So maybe, maybe my time is coming. But no, nevertheless, not great. But we, uh, we kind of have to get past it. And we move on to this void versus man thing here. So this fight here is one of the mini bosses, and yeah, it's pretty cakewalk with Void. Um, nothing really too much to worry about. I I do really enjoy playing with Void, actually. He's such a good champion. Um, for a long time, he was regarded as kind of like a slower champion, especially for Alliance War. But he just seems to be very, very strong because of this new meta. So it is good to see. So Man Thing, once I get all the debuffs on him, including the extra damage because of the withers and that, they're on him too. Here I got messed up because I saw the slow symbol and thought it was the slow from the global when it was just the um, sort of like slow from Void, which doesn't actually stop the defender tactic. So I get, <coughs> I get comboed to the face, which is unfortunate. But then we're going to get through this this fight anyway. We'll be fine. Um, Void only has one more fight for this war. So you're going to see in the thumbnail um, me having the the free fights. Um, you just won't see any of Doom. But I'm going to put him on the thumbnail because I did bring him in for that null fight. Which I then died to. Um, so yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. But it's okay. So now we're going to move on to the next mini boss that I have. Which is this Gore here. This is a fight that I have now taken a few times this season. And depending on how the AI of, or the defensive sort of AI wants to play, yeah, depends on how this fight goes. So you're going to see here, um, I have I am power start wand. I throw the heavy attack. Now I'm just waiting for Gore to kind of give me an opening again because I don't want to be attacking with the parry in that while it's on one eye open because that will hurt. And so far, Gore's being quite nice. I take that one hit there by accident. I quite kind of lost my spacing, um, but it's okay. 
Now he's in the corner, so it's fine. I'm going to throw this next special two, and Gore is dead. So this was a nice Gore. This was a very nice Gore. We appreciate Gores like this. Um, next up, we're then going to be moving on to my final fight of the war. You can see here, which is this uh, Mangog on the mini boss island. So I'm going to be boosting up again because this was a lot later on when I have to do this fight. Uh, the war, I believe, was quite close at this point when I was doing it because I still did it quite early. Um, was Yeah, it was very close. So, And I was a little bit unsure how this was going to go with Mangog, so I put on my greater special free def like defense boost and the new war, uh, advanced power even, sorry. Because the plan of action is if I can get up enough debuffs quick enough, including the withers, what it will actually do is it will hurt Mangog's combat power rate and power gain enough that I should only need to worry about maybe one special free in this fight. So you see here, I build up the withers, uh, knock him down, now I get the slow as well, so it's even more damage on top. And it is purely just now, kind of just let the fight go and see how far we get. Once I can get the two power gain, or petrifies on, here I try to knock him down for the slow. Um, missed two thirds of the heavy, and then he nicely decides to dash in for me at um at that bit. So now I'm just going to keep punishing him with kind of like just baiting heavies. But you can see by the time that this Mangog's even at a special free, he's already at like 50% health. So there there isn't much really like to worry about at this point. He has so many debuffs on him in equity is going to be in my favor. <coughs> I have the SP3 defense boost on, which is going to reduce it heavily too. And you're going to see the amount of damage that I take from this Mangog is basically nothing. Um, I think at this point, the, the blocked hits probably start hurting a lot more than what the special free in that does right now. Um, so, yeah. Really, really upset with myself that I didn't actually manage to capture the fact that my video had kind of stopped recording halfway through. But we still had a good few fights to be able to watch this war. And this is where my war ends. So no boss duty or anything for me. That's my final mini boss. We ended up um, after this fight. Obviously, you see the scores go very different. And yeah, good luck to F and G for the rest of the season. We are now three and zero, and hopefully we can keep the streak going. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.